Hello everyone, welcome back again to our channel Codus Arcade. In this video, I'll be talking about one very important interview question which is asked in almost all MNC interviews. Okay, so the topic is Jagged Array. Okay, so before starting this video, I would like to request all of you to please like and share our videos if you like them, and at the same time, I would like to please request you to hit the bell icon and subscribe to our channel so that you receive notifications regarding all latest updates okay so let's get started as i said i will be talking about the jagged array okay so let me go back to my id so i already have a project created let me create a new folder or let me create a simple package okay so say i will write arrays okay in this package i will create a simple program say jagged array okay so to demonstrate that i have to show you something okay so first let me have my main method and then let me increase the size now okay so first of all jagged array is a multi-dimensional array okay so let me write a comment jagged array is a multi dimensional array okay so in order to talk about that let me just give you a simple example of a multi-dimensional array so i will just take integers int say arr and if it has to be multi-dimensional it is like rows and columns right so let me take it like this is equal to say so when we talk about multi-dimensional arrays it can also be defined something like this it is a array of arrays that is the best way you can describe a multi-dimensional array okay so that means it will have small arrays inside a bigger array that's why it is called array of arrays as you can see here okay so i am taking something like this i hope now you can understand this okay so this is the picture so this bigger array as you can see here this bigger array this array has three small arrays one two and three so depending on that we can simply say this are the number of columns and actually it is divided into rows and columns right so let me write like this rows into columns that's why it is called multi-dimensional to be even more clearer let me take it like this let me add some elements say one two three four okay and five six seven eight and the last one say nine eight seven zero okay so now here it is difficult to understand you can see this is the first row this is the second row this is the third row that's why it is called rows into columns columns means the element in each row something like this this is column one column two column three and column four to make it even more easy to understand let me do like this yes now we will be very easily understanding this see okay so this is row one let me give a comment this is row two and the final one this is row three okay so if you see here this line is column one okay and this one is column two this one is column three and this one is column four so three rows and four columns let me just update this now this is a 2d array three rows and four columns fine now we need to iterate over this array and print each element right so how to do this simple so i will just take a nested for loop so i will say for int i is equal to zero i less than 
because I know the number of rows is 3. I can say 3 because I'm starting from 0. I++. plus plus. So for now, I will go to the columns. Int j is equal to 0. j less than 4 because I know the number of columns is 4. j++. plus plus. So here I will simply say s out. Okay. And to keep everything in the same line, I can use the print statement. So before that, let me just do one thing. Okay. Let us print something like this. Let me take the name of the array and then I will say i and j. Fine. Let us first print the array, then we will see what we can do. So let me just give one more comment here. So this will be the rows. The inner for loop will be for the columns and elements. Fine. So definitely there are three rows you can see. Since I'm starting from zero, I'm going till three, right? And then I have four columns. So I'm starting from zero, going till less than four, right? So three and four is my target. Let us print this and see what we are getting. Okay, you can see we are able to grab all of the data, but it is in different lines. As I told you, what we can do, we can use print statement and we can remove the ln here and now let us see if I run this now what happens okay now you can see I have got everything in the same line let me just play around with the data even more so here I will say a space now let's see what we are getting Okay, now you can see I'm getting the data properly, but everything is on the same line, right? I want the data exactly like I have seen here. What I do, I will just say, after this inner for loop, I want to go to the next row to print the next line, right? So S out, I will use a empty print statement so that I can go to the next row for printing the elements of the next row, okay? So basically it is like, after printing the first row elements, I'm going to the next line. Then the outside for loop will be incremented and it will go to the next row for the next values of the next row. Okay, let me run this now and see what we get. Yes, now you can see we are getting exactly as we have. Let me just zoom it a little bit. Yes, now I guess it is visible. So exactly as we see here, we are getting the data. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9, 8, 7, 6. So this is a proper array where each row has equal number of elements, right? So you can see each row has four elements now. Now, what if I change the values here? If I say 5, if I say, if I delete 1, and here let me say, okay, let it be 4. Now you can see, each row has different number of elements. Guys, that's why I said I will talk about a new concept. This is called a jagged array, okay? Jagged array is a multidimensional array where the number of elements in each row is different, okay? Let me write the definition here so that you can also note it down. Jagged array has different number of elements in each row now in the earlier case each row had equal number of elements so this was efficient this was working fine now if I run this program you can see what happens now I will get an exception see I'm getting an exception it says index 3 out of bounds for length 3 right because in some of the rows I don't have that many number of elements correct that's why I'm getting an exception here so in this kind of cases, this kind of coding is not efficient. How do you iterate over a jagged array? This question is very frequently asked in the interview, guys. How can we iterate over this kind of jagged array where the number of elements is not known in each row? It is different. That's what you can see, right? Jagged array has different number of elements in each row. Now, how to iterate? So in that case, as we know, as I told you here, you can see I stands for rows, right? Now, if you see carefully in this 
line in the array i said multi dimensional array is a array of arrays right so each row here you can see is actually a smaller array right this is one array this is one array and this is one more array so each row that i is actually a array okay so we can simply write like this so how many arrays are there in this particular bigger array arr i think you can see here 1 2 3 so that is actually the length of the bigger array okay so if i get the length of this it will be 3 okay so we can easily change the rows value with the length of the bigger array so i can say array dot length right so now this becomes more efficient n number of smaller arrays in the bigger array will be actually the length of the rows correct number of rows equal to the number of elements of the bigger array correct now as you see i becomes each row and each row is an array so if you have to dynamically go inside each row array and fetch the elements we have to catch the length of each row correct understanding so each row let me write it down here so that you can understand each row is an array so to fetch elements from each array we use array dot length correct that means if we know that i is actually an array so simply i can write like this so array of here i can simply say i because i is also an array so dot length if i write it will dynamically catch the length of each row got it so if you see here each row is an array so i is an array because i is going to each row and we get that each row is an array then inside that i want the elements so to read dynamically the length of each array i want the length right because i want to iterate over the length of each row okay so array of i because i is each row dot length now even if you have different set of elements in each row you can easily counteract that problem i hope you have understood that right so first we get the length of the bigger array then we go to each row which is an array then we get the length and go to each different element so even if we have different elements in each row we can easily iterate over that now let us see if we get the output or not run this see here now we are not getting any exception and we have the exact output that we deserve see whatever i had here 1 2 3 4 5 5 6 7 9 8 7 6 so even though we are having different elements in each row and different length of elements in each row still we are able to access each element from each row with this code see first we are getting the length of the bigger array okay then i am going to each row and i becomes the row okay then by writing i dot length i am getting across the length of each row then i am fetching the elements by writing this i j okay so this is how we iterate over a jagged array guys this is very frequently asked in the interviews okay so please remember that i will give you the code in the description box okay so please memorize this and if you have any doubts regarding this you can post your comments in the comment section okay i'll be very happy to clarify all your doubts and guys if you like this video and the content please like and share with your friends and family and also don't forget to hit the bell icon and last but not the least if you have not subscribed to our channel please subscribe now okay thank you for your support and this is sort of signing off i'll be coming up with a new content next time thank you bye bye